Miss Chandrava, is this your first attempt? Uh, no, sir, it is my fourth attempt. Sir. Okay, and for the interview? First attempt. First attempt. Yes. Good. So, are you working anywhere? Uh, sir, after my graduation, I have done law uh, for oh, three years. Done law, three years? Yes. Okay. And simultaneously, I was preparing for civil service. Oh, so that means you, uh, you completed your law when in 2018? Yes, sir, in 2018. But in between, you had already appeared for the uh, exam jobs. Right. You have given uh, political science and international relations yes. as an optional paper. What is BSc Physical Sciences? So Physical Sciences is an interdisciplinary course. It has many subjects. Uh, it has uh, physics, chemistry, biology, oh. also computer science. Mm. Uh, what, what is meant by the term petrodollar? Petrodollar. Uh, so it in my uh, limited information that I have, mm -hmm. I think it is uh, related to the petroleum trade around the world and the money that a country earns uh, while exporting petroleum. So I think that is petroleum. It is it is called petrodollar because most of the global trade in oil yes, is denominated in dollar. Okay, that is the but before this, do you know the US dollar? What was it backed by? Uh, you know, in the 60s or 50s or so. It was backed by uh, gold. Gold. Why did it come off gold? Uh, so there was a crisis, uh, I believe, in the uh, international monetary system. And after that, uh, the dollar became the predominant currency of trade. And it, uh, so this is the amount of information that I have. So. Is the real reason it happened was because of the Vietnam War. Okay. The US spent millions and millions of dollars there. They spent so much, there was no gold to back it. It came off. Just you, because you are a PSIR student and also you have here IFS and the certain second choice. You have. Okay. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, you, you must be aware of, the, of his name, Julian Assange. Yes, sir. What is he known for? Sir, he's uh, known for the uh, organization WikiLeaks, uh, which publishes a lot of confidential information, mm. uh, which is not authorized by the government. So so because of that, uh, because of one case in which he was involved, uh, he's facing international backlash by countries such as the US and other countries. What is your own personal opinion that what he revealed, you know, was it generally good for the world or was it bad for the world? Uh, so transparency and uh, information is good for the world in totality. So I believe that uh, it was good for the world, but then it went against the laws of uh, governments which were there in the in support of the national interest of those states. So in that regard, it was wrong, but uh, in totality, I think it was good for the world. I also think so. Because it revealed to the world what these countries were actually, actually doing behind the garb of human rights and this and that and everything. Okay. Now, lately, you know, the United States has been using what it calls, what I call, secondary sanctions. Yes. What, is, what are these? Sir, so secondary sanctions are under the law of CARSA, which is countering mm -hmm. adversaries to sanctions act. And it was uh, against countries who are uh, involved in uh, defense deals such as those procuring S-400 missiles from Russia. Don't mix the two things. You are on the right track. Yeah. So secondary sanctions are for those countries who, uh, who involve themselves with countries which are not friendly to, uh, to the US, uh, such as Iran. So if a country has trade with Iran, then secondary sanctions can come up. 
primary sanctions against Iran. Yes. You are aware of Katsa? Yes, sir. What does it say? Katsa. Basically, what does it say? Uh, sir, I'm just aware that it says about countering the adversaries through sanctions act. So it imposes sanctions on those countries which are trading with uh, some certain new yeah. regimes. Yeah, which are trading with those regimes against whom primary Already sanctions. Already primary sanctions are there, yes. Primary. Yeah. So with the result that India stopped buying, buying oil from Iran. Yeah. Yes. Are countries getting around this problem in some manner? Uh, so there are uh, imperatives for each country, uh, such as India imports a lot of oil from the Gulf. So India cannot completely uh, stop its channels from Iran. So uh, there are options. That India is currently looking for other options, such as importing more oil and gas from the US. Uh, under the recent uh, visit also, India agreed for more import of gas. So India is looking for other options in other available countries which are ready to export. So, so uh, by that we are looking for alternatives. Okay. Read up more on this part. Okay. Okay. There are ways like yes. bilateral currency deals, yes. you know, currency swaps yes. and uh, uh, moving into gold and all, all right. So, Thank you. Written you sir. Huh? You've written your hobby as reflective journal writing. What does this mean? Uh, Ma'am, I reflect on certain experiences that I face on a day to day basis and I write in my own diary whatever I uh, feel about that particular issue. What issue did you write about in the last five days? Uh, Ma'am, I wrote about uh, my interview preparation in general, where I'm lacking and where I need to improve. How did you know where you're lacking and where you need to improve? Uh, Ma'am, I have given a few mocks before this. So on the basis of that and on the basis of my own assessment, uh, I reflected on that. Okay. But you didn't reflect on high contact? Yes, I reflected on that too. You did? Okay, our chairman will tell you at the end of the session. Right. So uh, tell me you're from Haryana. Yes. Ma and we hear of the cups which are considered illegal bodies. Yes. But have they done any good work? Uh, yes, ma'am, they have uh, done certain good work. Mm -hmm. They are involved in various community programs, mm -hmm. such as uh, uh, improving the enrollment of girls mm -hmm. in schools, and also certain uh, social regulating certain social behaviors like uh, we can say domestic violence mm -hmm. and other issues. So. Khap and Chaya are doing a lot of positive work also. So why is it that we only hear of the negative dictates given by the cops? Uh, Ma'am, that's because I think uh, the negative dictates are so, uh, it goes against the constitution of our country, it goes against the basic human rights. Okay. So they come into the limelight more often. Now we hear of these protests, whether they were the Jat protests in Ajana, or the Gujar protests in Rajasthan, or now what's happening in Delhi, the anti-CA and pro-CA protests. So whenever these protests take place, a lot of damage to public property and private property also takes place. Yes. Can you think of any way in which we can minimize this damage to property? Um, Ma'am, in the first place, riots, they take a huge toll on public life. Mm -hmm. uh, damage to uh, property is another uh, effect so should we time. allow uh, protests or should we a, there be a complete clampdown on protests? Uh, Ma'am, right to protest is a fundamental right which is given in the constitution but it should not result into violence and uh, organizations such as the police and uh, political leaders they should uh, ensure that these protests they do not turn violent. But they can't, so they always turn violent. Even Mahatma Gandhi could not have a peaceful protest. So what can be done? Should we impose some community fine? Uh, Ma'am, I am not in the uh, opinion of imposing a community fine because I think that's their democratic right. So but it is allow them to damage property, burn property. If such an incident takes place, then we can have a recourse to the law of the land court. and court. we can go to the court. Okay, good. We go to court. Now I'm going to court. So tell me some of the laws regarding gender justice. 
Uh, ma'am, there is a POXO Act 2012, which is that Okay. Uh, ma'am, then there is a, uh, a prevention of sexual harassment at workplace. Okay, those are all right for protection of women. Uh, then uh, about gender justice, we have domestic violence act. That was the element of protection. Anything else? Saudi prohibition act. That also is for protection of women. Uh, gender uh, justice. Now we have women. a lot of uh, uh, schemes and no bills. Schemes. I'm talking about laws. You're a law student. The mm -hmm. Right to Education Act is another. That's a right. What about Sabri Mala? What about uh, adultery? You know about the laws? Oh, about yes. Triple Tala? Yes. You heard of those? Yes. What else? The latest, the army. Yes. Permanent commission to the women in the army. Yes. They are all for gender justice and the L uh, LGBT community. Yes. Mm -hmm. As the third okay. sex. Okay. Now, do you think that with all these laws that we have, which you also mentioned, do you think crime against women has come down in our country? Um, Ma'am, if we compare the statistics of when we began after independence, then surely crime rate has gone down. And also we are seeing more reports. What is, what's the authority on which you are basing this? Uh, Ma'am, the NCRB uh, report uh, has suggested a rise in the crimes they in the last suggest. They just say that it is or it is not. Yes, ma'am. So it, it has been seen that there is a slight rise, but that is also because more reporting is now being done. Everyone says that more reporting, so more crime. But there's no crime at the best. Okay, my last question. Do you think capital punishment will act as a deterrent? Uh, ma'am, in the long term, I don't think so. Because uh, capital punishment also uh, lets criminals end up killing their victims. Uh, after the crime. So that is another counter effect of capital punishment but as of now because of the crimes that we are witnessing in society. So for the rarest of the rare cases and in the opinion that there should be a deterrent in the form of capital punishment but in the long run it should, it is not a... Can you think of any other deterrents in the prevention of crime not just against women but any crime? Um, any apart from the punishment, which mm -hmm. is capital punishment, there should be certainty of punishment. Certainty and speedy justice. And speedy justice. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Sandeepan. Yes, ma'am. You read contemporary non-fiction books. Yes, ma'am. What is the recent book you have read which impressed you? Uh, I've read two books. Uh, one was about foreign policy, how mm -hmm. India sees the world by Mr. Shyam mm -hmm. And the other was the uh, Ikigai, which is on the yeah. Japanese art of uh, living purposefully. Oh, okay. All right. So you were reading on foreign policy. What are the main goals of India's foreign policy? Just uh, name top three goals of this. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, the top uh, goal for India would be a peaceful region and a peaceful world. Second would be uh, assuring a place for itself at the global high table. And the third would be um, to deal with challenges such as climate change and other trade conflicts in a multilateral manner. Those three would be the other. Security also. Security also. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, what is, uh, what's the latest on the US elections that are going on? What has happened recently? So, re oh, sorry, ma'am. Uh, recently, uh, uh, I read in the newspaper that yes. Joe Biden has yes. won the primary, yes. uh, South Carolina, I think. Yes. And uh, apart from that, after doing poorly in the in, the the Iowa, in Iowa and yes. New Hampshire. Okay. Yes. Good. Uh, you've heard of Roman Polanski? Um, I'm not able to remember right now. No. Okay. He was recently in the news because in the French César Awards. For the best film, he got the award for a, the best film award for Jacques, okay. an officer and a spy. But Roman Polanski is well known because he is uh, still evading a case against him since 1977 okay. on uh, unlawful relations with a mine uncle in the US. Okay. Okay. Just uh, okay. all right. Uh, just lately. And the uh, leader in the Arab world passed away. Yes, ma'am. Well known leader. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Soleimani, the Ira uh, Iranian general. 
No, I am talking of uh, the president of okay. Egypt. Okay, Hosni Mubarak. Hosni Mubarak, yes, yeah. Tell me a little about him. Uh, Ma'am, he was uh, ruling uh, Egypt uh, till the Arab Spring of 2011. Uh, he was uh, uh, thrown from the power and then uh, Mohammed Morsi came to occupy the office. And he was his uh, the Mubarak, entire yeah, uh, Mubarak's was. entire tenure. It was very controversial because he brought certain reforms, but uh, he he was known for his dictatorship uh, style of government. So was he in prison? Uh, Ma'am, I think that he was facing certain cases, but then he escaped to a certain other Arab country where he was living. He he, he was. You read up about him. Okay. Because he was released and then he died. Okay. Um, okay. okay. You read up more about uh, right. 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 You heard of SDGs? Uh, yes, ma'am. And their sustainable development goals. Uh, Just briefly, then. Which have been uh, framed by the United Nations, and they have their uh, deadline as 2030. Mm -hmm. So by 2030, we are moving towards achieving those goals. SDGs. What are the goals broadly? They cover social. Uh, they cover a lot of uh, fa fa phases social of life, like social, political, economic, economic environmental, and environment also. And environmental yes, goals, right? Yes. Okay, in the 2019, 2019 World Happiness Report, where do we figure? What's our ranking? India's? Um, Ma'am, I think it's 131. Uh, not far off, 140. 140. Out of 156. Okay. Okay, thank you, Chandra. Thank you. Chandra, yeah, yes, <laughs> this end of the table. Yes, so tell me, uh, you are a uh, practicing law? Uh, no, sir. Did Not you practice, practice at all? Uh, no, sir. Law? I went to the Supreme Court for one month of internship, right. but I did not practice as such. Are you a member of the bar? Uh, not yet, sir. All right. Which uh, branch of law did you look at? Civil, criminal? Uh, so it was uh, both. Uh, one was uh, one case I dealt with was under the NDPS. Act. What did you specialize in? Don't you have to take a particular type of law when you're? Uh, yes, so we have options in various semesters. So what were your so options? I opted for uh, public international law in one right. of the semesters, right. and in the other I went for uh, Companies Act. All right. And when did you finish? You said your law. Uh, so 2018. 2018. Now in 2019, which is last year. There is a big strike in Delhi or clash between the lawyers and the police. Yes, sir. People blame the lawyers and people blame the police. Was it right that the lawyers were doing what they did? Was it correct that the police were doing what they did? So it was not right uh, because uh, lawyers. Was not right. So lawyers were also not right because they are governed by the guidelines which they are were set by. Also the not right, which means the police were also not right. Yes. That is your implication. So both the parties, if they involve in any violent incident, they let's start the with the lawyers, since you are from the legal profession or wanted to be. Uh, yes, sir. sir. I think that lawyers are governed by the guidelines of the Bar Council of India. Uh, so, so were they incorrect in taking the law into their own hands? Sir, their conduct was not appropriate, mm -hmm. as should be the uh, professional conduct uh, shown by the lawyers, and they should have restrained themselves. And uh, because they have a law degree, that should not turn into arrogance. Okay. So, so and in what manner were the police wrong? Uh, sir, I am not aware of that. But I think that any uh, violent incident uh, should not take place. Well, when you... They showed video clips, so I am only reacting on that of a lady lawyer at that setting fire to a police motorbike. Okay, sir. I am right. not aware about that, sir. Oh, you didn't? I didn't watch the this video. Is, this is very much like what the police said the other day in court. We haven't seen the video and the judge said, you see, the whole world has seen it, you haven't. Yeah. These are positions which you should look at because since you are from the, you studied law, you will be asked questions. Yes. And what your position is on that. Yes. Mr. Vijay Madhya's case. Yes. Generally, if he's a criminal in one country, why doesn't the other country just send him back? He's a criminal, he's a criminal. He's charged. Criminal yes. in that sense, he's charged. And he's a fugitive now, let's put it more correctly. He's fugitive. Yes. So why doesn't that other country turn? Straight simple. Uh, sir, the transfer of criminals is governed by the Why, why should he have a treaty? Case. It's a straightforward thing. He's been charged with something, he's fled the country, well known, published all over, and the other country is saying, We won't, you must have an extradition treaty. Why? 
sir because all the countries they have different laws so uh, it might be the case that if one person is charged under some law uh, in one country that same law cannot be he's shown. not a british citizen is he uh, so no, he's not a yeah, he's governed by indian law what right does another country have to sit in judgment and not return someone who is wanted in his own country Tell sir me. they have already initiated the process no, i am asking what right do they have? why do they have this right Sir, what right did the British court have to say? Tell us in which jail cell Mr. Madhya will be lodged. What right do they have? It's up to us where we put yes. under what rights. So under uh, human rights jurisprudence, if uh, a person is within the territory of a country, then I think that country has a say whether he is uh, under the criminal law. They, they will never return country. anyone like that. No? You have that problem. Okay. All right. In the Indian system, there are a lot of cases which are pending. There are two reasons. One, I asked your candidate who came before. The second reason I'm asking you. A lot of people go to court not speaking the truth. Lawyers defend them, knowing fully well that they are these are not truthful cases. And they pull out various judgments and interpret the law in their own way. Yes. Why is that happening? Why are lawyers taking on cases which are not to be defended? For example, you know someone is a criminal. Yes, no one is willing to stand up and speak because he will get beaten up. And yet you play around with the evidence act and get that wrong. Oh, so every person is presumed innocent until proven guilty by the court. That is something which you should think more carefully about. If you are in that profession and you should think. Besides the criminal getting off, this problem is also coming that cases that the judicial system is getting blocked. Yes, sir. So for clogging, we can just have think about it. Just think about it. Good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Right. Mr. Chandra, yes, sir. now, uh, in your political science, did you come across a political thinker called Montesquieu? Yes, sir. What was his theory? Sir, he has given the theory of separation of powers. What is that theory? Sir, it denotes that the three organs of the government uh, should have their own uh, separate domains okay. and one should not impinge on the other while functioning. So, which country is constitution at the moment? most uh, closely uh, adheres to this uh, concept? Um, sir, United States of America. US. Yes, sir. What about our constitution? Sir, our constitution is not strictly uh, uh, having this uh, concept of separation of powers because we have the members of the executive as members of the legislature also. So that is uh, a right. system of checks and balances. Okay. Now, uh, you know, uh, the US president faced impeachment proceedings because yes, he escaped from that. Yes. What was the basis on which this whole thing started? What had he done which led to all these uh, issues? Sir, under the US law, uh, a president can be impeached if he has... No, that's not right. I'm asking, he must have done something wrong. Yes. Or alleged to have done wrong. What was that incident which led to this impeachment? So there was an allegation that he had called up a Ukrainian uh, president uh, for a political gain to have charges against uh, Joe Biden. To have certain a testimony to that. Right. Okay. Yes, now the Supreme Court recently yes. had uh, given a ruling on the Right to Information Act. What was that? Uh, so I think uh, which gave which said that the CJI's office will be under the RTI. Okay. So what is the Right to Information Act? So Right to Information Act 2005 is about. Or transparency in the government about empowering of the citizens so they can keep the government accountable. So how does it work? So it works that any public authority uh, it, which is designated under the act, it has to publish a list of officers uh, to which a person can find a grievance okay. if he wants to avail certain information. And uh, the public authority also has to publish certain lists of uh, updates on its so website. Much. So, so much. now, is this if, uh, this RTI Act is it applicable to all residents of India, or is it limited only to the citizens of India? Uh, so this fact I have to check. I'm not sure no, about this. So only it says the Act says okay. citizens. So that means if a person is staying here and he's a foreigner, he doesn't get that information. Right. Now the uh, RTI Act also has uh, provision for information commissions. What is the role of the commissions? So the commissions are there to uh, have the second authority if the public authority does not uh, disclose the information. So they are like a watchdog 
which uh, sits as appeal mechanism under so, the act. So, uh, do they listen to appeals also? No? Uh, so, I think no, they listen yeah. to the appeals. Yeah, it's an appellate authority. The second appeal goes to the information commission, right? Yes, sir. But how do you decide whether you go to the state information commission or the central information commission? Any idea? Um, so, I'm not sure about this difference. Okay. Basically, state government departments come under the state information. <laughs> government of India Department okay. Okay. Now, you know, recently the Supreme Court had issued uh, a judgment related to reservations. Can you tell me something about this? Uh, Sir, so the one that I know of, it's uh, about the reservation and promotions. Okay. That's all. Right. Yes, so, how did it come to the Supreme Court? Uh, Sir, so it was uh, a review a petition of the Nagra judgment of 2006 which said that reservation and promotions should be given but subject to the condition uh, that there is a lack of representation and there is a quantity, a quantifiable evidence that such people are not represented. So what happened was the Supreme Court? In the recent judgment, sir, the Supreme Court uh, gave uh, this uh, leeway that the quantifiable evidence is not necessary to give reservation That's and promotions. Right. It didn't say anything about whether uh, reservation and promotion is a fundamental right or not? Uh, Are you referring to the case which came up from Uttarakhand? Uh, sir, I'm not uh, not referring to this particular case. I'm referring to the pe uh, petition yeah. review petition on Nagraj case. Yeah, no, this is the latest one, which was just happened about 15 days back. Uh, so not aware about that, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, uh, the this uh, collegium system. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the collegium system? Sir, so, collegium system is about the appointments of judges. Uh, to the High Court and the Supreme Court and uh, it con it uh, consists of a Chief Justice of India and four other senior most judges of the Supreme Court. So now, once the Collegium uh, makes a recommendation, yes. is it mandatory for the government to accept it? Uh, sir, the Centre can uh, pass the file back to the Collegium mm -hmm. if it has, it has any uh, uh, negative responses or if it does not agree with the result, but then if the CGI passes it again, then the centre must adhere to it. But is there is there written down here? So as that the, is the convention. No, uh, has the memorandum of procedure been finalised? Uh, no sir, not yet sir. So, uh, there was a case recently uh, in which the, uh, a judge was to be appointed to the Karnataka High Court and this case has been sent back to the Supreme Court three times. Okay, sir. So, uh, it is still an issue which is not been resolved, yes, right? Okay, yes. right. So, we end your uh, mock interview and I'll give yes. you a feedback. Yes. Before I forget, uh, one thing uh, you must remember is that you know when uh, the interview is a very formal, this is a formal interview. Yes. So, if you are being questioned by a member on the left side, you retain your, you continue to look at him. You are not required to look here. Okay, sir. Okay? okay sir. That should be the standard thing. You don't, go, don't, you don't keep on doing this. And you will find it quite difficult if you, if yes, you are sir. asking, he is asking a question, how do you look there? Yes, sir. That's not required. Okay, sir. Okay, you only eye contact with the person, person who is asking the question. That is the so in my earlier interview, I was doing this the same and they I asked me to make eye contact yeah. with everyone. No, unfortunately, but... Uh, it wasn't in this. <laughs> Not in this. Okay, that's the difference. That's, that's what's happening. So, that's the difference. So, in any case, now, so far as your interview is concerned, normally, the question will emanate from your death yes. or from current events. Okay? Yes. So now, in your death, you have taken political science and international relations. Yes. So you must be prepared to answer questions on both political science and on international relations. Okay. Yes, then you belong to Haryana. Yes, sir. So some questions you know and Panipat is your home district. It's yes, a well known district. Yes. Sir. You know, something can be asked on that. Uh, then you have taken uh, you've done law. Yes. So you you can expect question on the constitution, on the interpretation, uh, anything which is happening nowadays. You know, the, the Citizenship Amendment Act, the NRC, yes, where is the NRC, where did the NRC come from, right. and what happened in Assam in the NRC. Right, sir. Then, of course, uh, you, you in your sports you mentioned badminton. Yes. So, who are the, uh, you were asked questions on uh, reflective journal writing. 
watercolor painting, you know, you think what color, yes. the, what is the type, which are the world famous watercolor paintings, right. who, are the, who are the painters, you know, those kind of things. Yes, sir. And on uh, books, you are already asked something. So, so this is followed that. Right, sir. And the other area is, which is a huge area, is current events. Yes, so now current events, the only way you can be up to date is if you are spending a number of hours going through newspapers and trying to remember what, what you did. Yes, sir. So the, you have to interview on the 26th. 26. You still have a lot of time. Yes, sir. But you must read newspapers very, very carefully. Right, you will be given a CD of this okay, uh, interview. So go through that. You see, you will, uh, you will realize yourself mm -hmm. questions where you are not very, very sure. Yes, sir. Or you need more information. So work on those issues. Okay. Yes, sir. That is the uh, basic uh, uh, newspapers or must. Yes. Sir. Anything which you would like to add? Um, Kevin has already told you that make eye contact with the person looking, don't look around. But when you have come, also remember there's another member sitting. Yes. Sir. Right? You miss that and I have to tell you I'm also here at this end of the table. Yes. Sir. Look around the other thing and always take permission before you get up to go. Okay, sir. That's one thing. Secondly, I notice you're a Stephanian. Yes. Sir. I'm from that college also. Okay, Reputation of the college is on your shoulders. Get into service. <laughs> yes. Prepare as you're in advice. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Do well. Thank you, ma'am. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.